what is going to be the focus at your new restaurant, Mark? Very excited for you. Oh, we just opened a tavern in Quincy, Massachusetts, named Remix, and the focus is more of an American theme. Mm -hmm. um, Quincy has a real dynamic um, cultural aspect behind it. So there are a lot of different people who live there, and so we kind of tried to capture that on our menu. Wonderful. A little bit of Italian, American, steakhouse. You're diversifying um, yourself, aren't you? I'm ADD. Yeah, there another you title, go. but sure. <laughs> Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we are delighted to be working with the finest products from Rostelli Foods, and also to be hosting our chef, Mark Orfali, direct from Boston. You have Pagal Restaurant in Boston. That's correct. And your newest restaurant in Quincy, Massachusetts. Remix. Remix. Congratulations um, on that. Thank you very much. Okay, and what will, will we be cooking today? Here's a sirloin that I'm going to be cooking, and here is a um, short rib. Now, notice the marbling. The throughout. marbling is beautiful, absolutely. And tell us how this product is so superior to that which we can get in a supermarket. I'm a big fan of just the great quality product on its own. It all starts with great quality product, mm -hmm. which um, we're getting already. I do like, however, being in the restaurant business, put a nice little twist on it. So we are gonna cook the steaks and let it really shine on its own. I'm also gonna accompany it with some braised short rib, mm. which I love like a little like yin and yang yes. action. Um, so this is this is the sirloin here. These are beautiful steaks. Two variations. And then this is a um, another beautiful cut. This is the beef short rib. Mm -hmm. Even in its uncooked form, it's a, we know that it's a beautiful cut of beef. Exactly, now there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Mm -hmm. They can cut it thin, marinate and grill. That's Korean style. Um, I've also just had it recently, carpaccio. Mm. That was really nice because it's got a ton of fat and marbling in it. So it's actually really delicious when sliced thin enough. Or kind of a more traditional style, we're going to do um, braise, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a pot roast, okay. basically like a pot roast. Very good. Um, How should we begin? OK, so I'm going to start off with, uh, we're going to do the steaks. As my friend Evan was saying, I like a nice char on the um, in a in a saute pan opposed to the grill. Okay. So um, that's how I'm going to do these. Very good. When a recipe calls for searing in a hot pan, it doesn't have to be on fire. This is a muscle, and it's going to seize if the heat is too hot. Okay. So a a good medium high heat is um, is more than adequate to sear the steaks and get a nice sear on them. I've done That's for this. Good to know. For this, I'm going to do. This is a blend of three peppercorns, um, black, white, red, and I put a little uh, coriander seed in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can use the back of a pan on a cutting board is great. You can also use if you have a coffee grinder. You can just pulse it to get this um, coarse uh, texture. It's going to be really good flavor-wise, mm -hmm. and also um, probably adds a little texture. bit of a crunch too, there right? You, Oh, yes. you're good. I can just imagine it. Do the three different kinds of pepper, do they add a different type of flavor? Sure. You get um, the white and the pink is probably a little bit brighter. The black is a little bit darker. And then, and then I also like the um, coriander seed in it as well. So I'm going to generously season these. And then these are um, dry. I mean, I haven't added any uh, olive oil or anything to them to marinate them. And I'm just going to push down on the peppercorn. Almost like a breading. This is kind of like an, I mean, this would be a uh, traditional au poivre mm -hmm. steak, but I'm not going to do it with a big um, brandy cognac cream. We're going to do, so I'm doing the short rib. We're going to serve with, I'm calling it a short rib hash. Okay. And this is going to be a really great foil to um, these delicious steaks that we're going to cook. So uh, all the while our pan is heating up. So I preheated, I preheated the, the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of um, extra version, like so. And that's just like smoky enough. You can finish the steaks in the oven. I prefer to keep them in the pan, and we'll baste them as they're cooking. We should get a nice uh, medium rare temp Very good. on them. So. Is there a reason why you like to keep them in the pan? You can either slow, I like them because it gives them a gentle heat. I'll keep uh, turning them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think there's plenty of heat in the pan and not have to go into the oven. Sure. Um, if it was a thicker cut of meat, sure you could. Or I'm going to cook these medium rare. You want it to go medium, medium well, then sure they can see some oven time. I don't, I don't know that it's necessarily um, necessary. Sure. So. 
cooked something from the show, went to a restaurant that you loved, found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with more from Rostelli Foods. To accompany this, we're gonna do um, a little bit of uh, potato puree mm. that you see steaming around there. Now that's just Yukon Gold Potato. We just simmer in salted water through mm -hmm. a potato ricer and a little bit of um, butter and heavy cream. Mm. Just a little bit. Very good. Right. I almost and then like nice a polenta. And There's a ton of stuff that you could do with this. You could add um, cheese, probably. We are going to be adding cheese. Very okay. Good. My O to Philadelphia. Yes. Cheese and um, onion rings. Um, you could also add a cauliflower puree mm. or some other kind of root vegetable would work really great with this. That's a great vehicle for anything. Any number of vegetable, different vegetables. Absolutely. Okay, so very good. So sticks are going here, and I'm gonna, um, because most people don't have a dishwasher person at home, we're gonna use, we're gonna multitask and use one pan. So for the shore rib, now this you could do, obviously a day in advance would be great mm -hmm. um, for, for days. You can just sear, sear the shore rib and then we'll just cook it in some simple beef broth. Carrot, celery, onion, um, let that cook just like a pot roast for about three hours and then we're gonna shred the meat off. Very, very easy. So you would do the cooking a day ahead? Absolutely. Okay. So and, then and, I would have, and I would have that ready to go. And how long do those steaks take on each side, they're not gonna Chef? Take, they're going to take, um, I'll probably give them like three or four minutes on each side. I notice how you're not touching them. One big thing with food, especially when you're searing it, you don't have to. I think people get in the habit of getting nervous. Mm -hmm. and, oh my God, i got to move it around a lot. When you do that, um, you, what we're trying to establish is a nice crust on these steaks. So I don't want to be in there uh, moving it sure. around too much. Okay. Um, again, on the short rib. Another nice thing to do is you can marinate it in red wine overnight, to get it either in red wine or white wine, or depending on what flavor profile you like. Or you could just do it straight ahead plain, just like that. So. And these steaks are gonna be, now I'm, I'm doing it with a little bit of an elaborate setup here, but they would be just as good, just like that. With a nice big salad. And let's welcome Whoa. to our set, hey, Ray Rostelli. Mark, pleasure to meet you. Well, it's a party Tina, now. Nice Ray. to see you. How nice you been? to see you again. Terrific. I am honored that you're actually working with our product. I am a it's huge fan of your culinary talents. Thank you so much. Please it's come, an honor to be come here. on to the set, Ray, and tell us a little, tell us a lot actually about Rostelli. Well, um, you know, we, we've been fortunate enough to, to be in business for 35 years. So uh, we've been all over the world and we're really doing a, a, a launch in Mark's area in Boston. So we're really excited to bring our product to the marketplace and be able to bring it directly actually into the homes. We're really excited about that. Ristelli Direct. Ristelli Direct, yes. Uh, yes. Ristelli Foods is, as I said, we've been doing this for 35 years, uh, servicing restaurants all over the world uh, with great chefs like Mark Support. And now going directly into the home with Ristelli Direct, mm -hmm. it really takes that restaurant dining experience and it brings it to the home with things that Mark does and things that our other chefs do to show our consumers exactly how it's done in a great restaurant. So we're honored to have you here, it's Chef. It's an honor to be Terrific. here. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about Rostelli Foods. We've got four operating plants, uh, mm -hmm. a beef processing plant, which uh, does uh, all of our cattle that we raise in the Midwest. Uh, so that, so the, it's cattle that you raise? It's cattle that we raise. Mm -hmm. There are Angus cattle, which are uh, on a feed protocol, an age protocol, a breed protocol as well. Uh, we bring uh, actually into our processing facilities then, harvest them, and cut them for chefs like Mark, and now for the consumer at home. How about the quality control measures that you have in place? Because I know you're very conscious about that at Ristelli. Well, you know, that all starts on the farm. Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't uh, provide Mark with the kind of product he would use in his restaurants if it didn't start with what the breed was, and what the feed was, and what the protocols are, and the maturity of the animal, the wholesomeness in which the animals were raised. So it really starts on the farm, and it finally gets it then to the table. And that's the most important part of it. But each one of our processing plants, we have four processing plants around the country. They are on very, very strict USDA guidelines, and we make sure that everything is adhered to from a sanitation procedures to testing procedures on a daily basis. Mm, that's fabulous. And now restaurants who have enjoyed this, this quality for years, we as consumers can now enjoy the same quality at home, which is unbelievable. Yeah, and, that, and that's our newest uh, endeavor, Rostelli Direct, and we're so excited about it. The past two years that we've been involved in it, we've gotten uh, emails and, and, and calls from people all over the country using our product, 
And what's really nice is they're taking things like Chef is doing today and they're able to apply that at home. Yes. And that's really a great, uh, a great thing for the, for the hobby chef at home to be able to do. And the convenience is amazing. I know yeah. we've heard people say who are customers of Rustelli Direct that it has really completely changed their food shopping habits. Well, you know, I had, I had a call just the other day and they said, you know, it's actually fun to shop now. Yes. I just sit in my, you know, at my little desk at my home and it could be 11 o'clock at night and I go ahead and I go online and I just order what I want and there's hundreds of items to order from directly from our processing plant. So we really do control it all the way from farm to family and we guarantee every piece that our customers get as well. Absolute perfection quality. Thank you so much, Thank Ray. Thank you, Chef. I look forward to tasting that in a Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Wonderful. You. We'll see you at the tasting, Ray. Thank you. Thanks again. Okay, Chef. So our steaks have finished cooking. They no. look beautiful. Oh, they're not finished quite yet? They are basically finished. I might flash them for one more second just to heat them up again, but we okay. got a nice beautiful crust on them. They do look great. At the end, I just added some whole butter and a little bit of thyme basted them, give them some nice flavor on top. Mm -hmm. So now that part is done, we have our potatoes ready. Um, now we're gonna make the hash. Oh, the hash, okay. So You're this is kind of an this. untraditional hash. Are I'm you gonna... finished with this burner, Chef? I am. Okay, turn that off for you. So I'm gonna brown. It's gonna give a great nutty flavor. I'm just gonna brown up the butter a little bit. We'll be right back with more from Rustelli Direct. When you go on the Rustelli Direct website, you choose from about 200 different items you'd like to have delivered, and within three to five business days, that product's delivered right to your door. Our product comes vacuum packaged in a resealable bag with a label that identifies exactly what it is with ingredients, nutritional facts, and in a lot of cases, a recipe that makes it very simple for you. Here is the braised short rib. Mm -hmm. And now you just shredded them. I just shredded it. Okay. Now you can use, um, I like uh, short rib. You can also use uh, chuck or brisket mm -hmm. or, or whatever it is that you like. Even beef shank would be good. Just um, mm, something so else good. that's braised, yeah. This is rich, but we're gonna be mixing it in with other things, so you get the flavor, but it won't doesn't have to be one whole piece of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just fry this up. I'm gonna let this get a good sear on one side. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, chopped garlic. You could add shallot if you like. Here are some um, shiitakes that mm -hmm. I've um, just julienned fine. Okay. I'm gonna add those. This is kind of a spin on the classic French elegote potato, which has comte cheese, a little bit of garlic. Typically, it's made with roasted potatoes that they do table side. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more refined because we did put the potatoes through the ricer. The ricer, and so they're and nice and just, smooth. And you, you can, can see. put the cheese in. Okay, so you all the cheese. And Mark, what kind of cheese was this again? This is comte cheese. Comte cheese. If, um, if you can't get Comte, uh, Raclette is uh, very comparable, oh. or um, even Fontina okay. is fine. Would be a, a but uh, Raclette or, or Swiss, something that's a little bit tangy. Okay. So these are honey glazed carrots. Now if you like, oh, I don't like carrots, I don't like this, I don't like that, it's easy to substitute. You can adjust. You, you can go more traditional with... Everything um, smells great, Chef. Why, thank you. Actually, this looks like the inside of maybe a pot pie, too. The, exactly, yeah. interior yep. to a pot pie. Uh, the most important thing here is we want to keep the integrity of these great steaks. We don't mm -hmm. want to complicate it too much. Okay. So, okay, so then what I've done is I've taken the liquid from our braised short ribs or pot roast or what have you. Okay. And I've reduced that down. It's got all that great flavor, red wine, beef stock, and I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to finish the hash, the hash with. Okay. So. To give it more of a, a liquidy quality? Bind it together. Exactly, maybe? it's going to make it more fluid. So I'm going to. This is a little bit rich. I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of lemon juice. We have ten minutes, chef. Here's a little um, spring onion. If you don't have spring onion, you could always use a uh, scallion or mm -hmm. some other kind of onion, and then. Here is our beef liquid. This almost seems like a dish that would do well at your new tavern. Uh, yes, it absolutely would. Um, although we probably wouldn't put all the components, like I'd probably okay. do maybe just the short ribs sure. with, like if you did this, we've done this a little bit more restaurant style, but mm -hmm. if you cut the carrots big, maybe with some parsnips and beets and other mm -hmm. root vegetables, 
um, this would be a great dish on its own. Even maybe over some noodles or pasta. Mm -hmm. So see I how that's, see like that. that's coming together really great. Oh, just in time, Eugene. We needed Chef some wine. Tina. Welcome, Eugene. Hello. And you're going to introduce to us some the best wine part of any good dinner. Pair. The best part about the right? wine. <laughs> Especially when you're a chef. <laughs> so tell us about how wine has become an integral part of the program at Rostelli. With Rostelli, what we did is we formed a selection of specific boutique organic farmed wines to match with the foods. So when the consumer wants to order these great gourmet foods to their home, we have gourmet wines already paired with these great foods. Which is fabulous. And yes. how will it appear on the website when you're doing your shopping? So I know the Rostelli website is very clearly laid out uh, with different features, the heat and serve items, the meats, the seafood. How will the wines be The presented? wines will be laid out on a page where we'll actually match the foods with the wines. So, so all convenient. the work will be done for you. And yes, very convenient. So basically the uh, gourmet restaurant experience brought right to your home. Every component of the Every gourmet component. experience. Every component. Wonderful, Eugene. And so tell us a little bit about the wine that we are enjoying today. This wine that you're uh, enjoying today is a wine that we picked called uh, Faustini Winery mm -hmm. in Napa, uh, which is 100% organically farmed. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a Cabernet, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon uh, from Napa that is just going to complement that steak. Perfect. Cheers. Delicious. Cheers, Thank Mark. you so much. Very good. Nice deep flavor. Yes, rich. Undoubtedly an excellent pairing with our steak. So we will see you again at the tasting. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. We'll be right back with more from Rostelli Direct. You can now at home order the same steak, seafood, pork, veal, lamb, poultry that the finest steak houses, seafood houses, and poultry houses around the world are ordering from us for the last 35 years. So how are we doing with our hash, Mark? I see you've added some We're butter. We're doing good. I, so I just finished it with a little bit more whole Ooh, how butter. how creamy that looks with the butter added. We had a lot of great, um, we obviously have a lot of great flavors here, but it's also good textures too. We're gonna have mm -hmm. a little bit of the crunch from the carrot and the shiitake mushrooms, a little bit of earthy, and then the great bra bra the braised meat. So. It's almost a good dish to add so some sort of leftover things you ha might have in your refrigerator, some leftover sure. vegetables, you know, it's The nice. most important part really is just getting the pan hot, a little bit of brown butter, kind of frying that in there and then, mm -hmm. and then putting it all together like that. So to accompany this, I've done a little bit of um, fried onions. These are just onions that are put, um, most people don't have an industrial uh, slicer Fryer. at home. Oh, right, slicer. Either you have good uh, knife skills or you can get a Japanese mandolin, great tool to use at home. All these components can be can be done. Sure can be done, yep. Mm -hmm. This could be done in advance. Mm -hmm. You could just reheat it later. The potatoes, the potatoes obviously can be done. And then the only thing I would recommend is maybe that you do the steaks all minute. But even at Which this point. Which is very point, easy. I mean, honestly, you sure. just put it in and you sort of, you, you stressed not, you know, moving it around so much, yep. so. And and as you see, we, we only used, um, you know, we're basically like, a, as we say in the business, we're a two-pan pickup over there here. We go. So we seared the steaks. We have another pan. Whoever's uh, mending the uh, dishwasher, we don't want them working too hard. So. <laughs> now, um, I like I like slicing it. Sometimes, you know, people put the whole thing on there. I think it's a little bit easier to eat. So next, uh, we're gonna we're gonna plate. So we have our delicious potatoes here. Cheesy, creamy. It almost looks like polenta. Yeah. Some of this delicious hash. Okay. Here's our steak. I like slicing it sometimes. You know, people put the whole thing on there. I think it's a little bit easier to eat. And this had no oven time. That's exactly right. It was entirely in the pan. A little bit of salt. And what's great about this is you can still, this, I don't have any big gloopy sauce over mm -hmm. the top. You can still, we're holding the integrity of the delicious meat. Hi, Ray and Eugene. Come on. That looks set. absolutely amazing. Look how spectacular it's the yin and the yang. Meat. That's right. Chef. The yin and the yang. Yes. Shouldn't you like how he made that hash it's with this? It's wonderful. And I carrot. love the ode to Philadelphia. It's right on. <laughs> just perfect. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. It's like the icing on the cake. It's my almost. fancy uh, cheesesteak. There we go, and gentlemen. And the potatoes look absolutely I, And incredible. they are. I, I did sneak and, a taste, and, and I have to say. you were right. It is cooked perfectly. Cooked perfectly. Perfect. Could you say right. that again? I don't know if they are. <laughs> Chef, for you. Thank you. 
for you to enjoy also. Thank you very much, guys, for the awesome product, and uh, you guys have been a thrill to work with. The different textures, uh, as, as Chef referred to as the yin and the yang, is really what I think, um, I know when I go out to eat at a restaurant, and that's why I love Mark's restaurants, is you get the opportunity to taste a couple of different flavor profiles yes. and some different uh, culinary experiences. You know, when you come in to eat, we want to give you just a little bit of a twist of something you might have at home. And now with the line that you guys are offering, you can still get, now you can have that twist at home and not mm -hmm. have to work as hard mm -hmm. as I do. That is so good. If you taste everything together with the potatoes and some of the honey glazed carrots along with the shredded beef, wonderful. Would you like some wine? You have your wine? I do. Okay, gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers to Ristelli Foods. Yes, yes guys. Marfa. Thank you. Thank really you. My pleasure. pleasure. Coming to Boston now. Yes, absolutely. Lucky you are. And we are. Right? Everything seems to be coming to Boston now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much, much Thank gentlemen, you for again. a Thank wonderful you. day on the Chef's Thank Kitchen. You. Ristelli Direct knows you're busy. That's why we make it convenient for you to shop with just a click or call. Now restaurant quality steaks, seafood, chicken and pork selections, and even dessert can be delivered to your door in resealable individually portioned packages. This is a great idea for gifts, parties, or for that fabulous dining out experience in your own home. Whether it's for a birthday, holiday, or special event, Ristelli Direct delivers convenience and quality whenever you want. Check out our gift packages and special offers at RistelliDirect.com today. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Tony Clark is back. This Jersey boy is turning out his culinary creations at the Old Grange by Tony Clark and Kate May. Superlative food, excellent service, and a house vineyard make this a foodie's dream. Craft services provided by Garces Trading Company, a European-style gourmet market where you can enjoy delicious bistro fare in a bright, airy setting. Flowers on the set provided by Nature's Gallery Florist, distinctive floral arrangements with European flair. Rosselli Foods really has an eye on the on the handle for quality and really what chefs want and then ultimately what the customer wants at home. So we've been able to translate that to the guests, which is absolutely great. And also, Stephen, it's an honor and a pleasure to be working with you and your staff as always. And I can't wait to come back again. <laughs>